In this series, we're gonna be talking about how we use the 11th Man Goalie Pro to think about different shot angles, different ways to place the goalie, and how to get the most value out of using the 11th Man Goalie in your backyard. This first video today, we're gonna to talk about how we set up the goalie for different types of shots, just to make sure that we're giving ourselves as realistic of a look as possible. The biggest thing that we need to think about is how the goalie is gonna adjust his or her stance based on where the shooter is. The most simple way to think about using your 11th man goalie is straight on in the cage. And that's gonna be most applicable for shots coming you know, from the dead center of the net or a couple steps to the left and right. As we go to think about working on our up the hash shots, wing shots, and different things like that, we wanna make sure that we're adjusting the arc of the goalie. The last thing we wanna think about in terms of the 11th man goalie, and what we think is so great about it, is that you can flip it around and treat it as a lefty goalie or a righty goalie. So right now, we have it as a lefty goalie. It's very simple to just make sure if you're playing a different goalie that week or you wanna scout it differently and give yourself a different look, you adjust the goalie so that the stick is in the proper side and it gives us, again, another thing to look at, another thing to read as we're shooting on the goalie. The simplest way to think about changing the goalie is thinking about how the goalie would be squared up to the shooter. If it's straight on, this is a great example of having the goalie being you know, straight out, squared up to the shooter. As the shooter moves to the wing, and thinking about, in this case, the left wing, we wanna make sure that we adjust the goalie to square up on that shooter. That's gonna change and give different spots on the net, and every goalie's stance might be a little different in how they play it, but this is generally how we can think about it. If we're going to more of a low angle to a goal line shot, a lot of good goalies are gonna do a better job of hugging the pipe and standing tall, and that's where, again, we can adjust one more time to make sure that we're covering up a good part of the net and making it harder for shooters to see open space on the cage. So as we wrap up this video, again, one key to remember when adjusting your goalie is making sure that the goalie is squaring up to where the shooting spot is. Adjusting the goalie to different spots around their, in their stance so that they can give you a realistic look when you're taking your different shots.